What's up citizens of the NBA wire? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So I just got finished with another interview session and I'm here to bring you some insights for today. Now it's kind of crazy because today I'm going to show you how to connect the walk me through your resume question with part of why you want this school. Okay. There's a way where you can connect it, obviously through the spiderweb method for some of you who, who have purchased my online course, um, understand what the spiderweb method is, how it works, but if you don't know, this is just a small part of it, of how to make sure that your stories and your answers all connect, making a beautiful spiderweb. All right, that's the basic concept, but we're gonna get into the insights right now. So just a little background. Uh, I have a client right now. I had a student who is apply was going to interview with uh, a school. Uh, I'm not going to name the school, uh, mainly because I want to protect, you know, obviously my students' identities at least until they get accepted into their uh, uh, schools of choice. And I want to make sure that uh, he does remain, or she does remain, anonymous. Um, here we go. So. The, the, the student uh, is applying to a school, he's going to actually, okay, so he's, it's a guy, he's going to apply to a school, he's actually going to interview with the school and he wanted to make sure um, that everything was okay. So as we were walking through his resume, I realized that there were some very awesome connections, like I immediately realized like he had a perfect fit with the school, just through his resume, okay. Um, and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Now the problem here was how to connect why this exact school with walking me through your resume with the experiences that he had because he had such a huge, huge difference. What happened was he did uh, an internship. Um, he worked, he did an internship and was fully hired by a automotive, automobile company, all right, abroad. So he worked abroad for some time, international company, um, and, and he was an engineer, right? So he graduated as in engineering, he was an engineer at a company, and then all of a sudden he made this huge jump into banking. So he started working at a, at a large, uh, in, soon to be international bank, and he, that was the most curious part of what I believe that the interviewer or all the interviewers will be asking is how, why this huge jump, okay, and how that happened. So after we've gotten to answering that, we noticed that there were some key factors of making this jump and what he learned from this jump um, that really fit into why he was seeking an MBA at this specific school, okay. So let's, let's do this. I'm going to flip the camera. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna show you the drawing and I'll explain it to you so I make it make it easier for you to understand. Hold on. All right, so here we go. All right, this is a macro view. All right, a basic of, of only part of the part of the 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 spiderweb method. Okay, just doesn't look like a spiderweb right now. So basically, right now here at the bank. The whole idea was, the question is, why this school, why X school, and how does everything fit in with the bank? Part of his future goals is to work in stri uh, strategic management, uh, strat management consulting, sorry. Yeah, so part of his work is to, to work in management consulting. His ideal summer internship would be at consulting uh, firm number one, okay? We have the, why this school, and then we have where he works today as a bank. Now, the whole idea here is how do they all connect? Because remember, this student is coming from an engineering background from an automobile company, right? So he's from industry. Now he wants to get, you know, he's into banking and he wants to get into uh, strategic consulting, management uh, consulting, yes? All right, so at the bank, basically what happened was, what I found was he was able to tie in, we were able to tie in his engineering background with his love for education and his experience in HR at the bank, okay? Customer care, he works in customer care under HR, but he teaches and he trains their staff at the bank, so that's part of the education. And there was a way here that we talked about converging different skills, right, into one common objective. Now within the HR, his job is to connect with a huge amount of departments within this bank and also converge all of the departments to work on one specific aspect. So key word here was, the theme was converge. 
converge, converge. Now his goal for the NBA was to have a better business perspective. And also the school itself served as a role model for this on what, on converging different aspects into one thing. Okay, what happens here is why this school? Why this consulting firm? Well, in order to understand that, here we have consulting office two. This bank is actually a client of consulting firm number two. Consulting firm number two is great with coaching, strategic, and know-how, okay? And this client, the student, knows all of the consultants from this consulting firm. So he knows their MO, their mode of operations, he knows their culture, he knows how they work, how they think, which is great, but he wants to work here in consulting firm number one. Now, why consulting firm number one, and how does that have to do with this school? The interesting thing is, now the C-bomb here, the C-bomb meaning the culture bomb, how does the culture fit is the following. His interviewer actually went to the school, obviously, is an alumni of the school, and today works at this firm. How do we make this so it doesn't sound like that he's just sucking up and saying that to, 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 you know, to please the interviewer? And that was our main concern. And what I noticed was the following. What were the, what's the culture here? You know, first of all, does this school recruit, I'm sorry, does this consulting uh, uh, office recruit from this school? Yes, and what percentage, right? And what's the collaborative nature of this company? Now that's the whole idea. So here's the basic theme. As he's coming from an engineering background, he loves to provide education, loves working with HR, he's able to converge these three into one single objective. Within HR, he's able to convert different departments into one single objective. And here, what happens is with the MBA, he's able to converge the collaborative style here for better business perspective with a totally different style of consulting firm number one from consulting firm number two, which he didn't want to go into, right? With his future goals as the, at the bank to continue pushing HR. So all of this here has a direct fit with here, his future goals, okay? Now we got into a couple more specifics which I can't release just yet, but I wanted to show you an overall picture of part of the spider web method and how every answer in the interview really works to your favor. Now the fact that he got really lucky because the fact that his interviewer is working at, his cons at the consulting firm that he wants to have a summer internship at, he has a direct relationship here with the interviewer. He has a direct connection. On top of that, what happened was we discovered through some research that this student's former supervisor was actually the interviewer for this interviewer. <laughs> so it was kind of crazy. It kind of all worked out together to piece together. But that's kind of how you show it. You have to find a central theme to your entire interview. You have to show a central theme in, in your entire interview. All right. So, I mean, that's the interesting part of this entire spider web method. But here, I'm just going to stay here so that you can see. All right. Um, and the way you make those connections is, is, is really, really, you know, you have to be self-aware of your strengths and your weaknesses to get the whole picture. You also have to understand how, how did, not only do you need to know, okay, the two, the two questions in a walk me through your resume is, are, are, are the following. Number one, how did you impact your company as a professional? Number two, how did your company impact you as a professional, all right? And that's the whole point here. If you can show how a company impacted your growth, it's a great metric for a school or for an interviewer to see how that MBA can be uh, a, an impact onto your life. Okay? And by being, being able to connect these ideas and bring them all together, converging them into one central theme. And let's just say that one central theme is the perfect C-bomb, the perfect culture for that school, which is converging different points of views into one single objective, pushing a collaborative culture at the school, at the, at, at the professional setting. Being able to show that tie to the school's culture is key. It's extremely, extremely important. And that was, that's it. He killed it. He crushed the interview.
I mean, in my opinion, I, w I, w I would be extremely surprised if he didn't make it. Um, and I'm very excited for him. You know, once we got through this entire one and a half hour session, you know, he walked away and I'm just so pumped and excited for him. I think he's going to have uh, an amazing time at this school. Fingers are crossed. Let's hope he does well. Um, I hope that gave you a little bit more insight in, in, in how you can connect your, your why an MBA with, with why this school. And more is coming, more coming very soon. Um, I'm going to keep trying to do this with all the insights that I'm getting from each one of, of, the, of our interview sessions. Uh, like I said, MBA Wire is coming back in a big way. I'm going to provide you with much more value and much more insights. So stick with us, all right? Don't forget to uh, say hello over on Facebook. And take care. Practice, practice, practice. Good luck with round two coming up shortly. Bye.